Uh, Yellow Park, did you throw this from China? What happened? Hey everyone, welcome back to Outside the Box. The series of videos where I get to open up some cool stuff that I probably will never get to repaint. But today we've got a brand new box, although it's slightly dinged up. Yeah, I'm a little bit concerned about this one. It came from Yolo Park. I know what's in here. Um, I have concerns. Now, I don't really care so much about the inside boxes themselves as I do about what's in them. I do think there's a good chance they're going to be in good shape. But we're going to find out together, right? I do have a couple of other packages that I can open up here as well. But honestly, I think I only have enough energy for one box. Right now, I am still laser focused on finishing up Trumpeter Bumblebee, which as of this recording, it's about 90, 95% done. And I figured what better way to impede that process than to film another video, right? But I can confidently say now, come hell or high water, that video will be next. But let's crack this box open though, shall we? Oh, and apologies if you can hear the fan right behind the camera. I don't know if it's picking up on the mic. It is freaking hot over here. Oh, okay. I guess I could try to undent this. Oh, that didn't feel very good. Okay. I know, I'm cutting towards me. Never a good idea. Oh shit, yeah, okay. All right, oh, fudge. Well, um, three boxes snugly crunched in here. I mean, two of them, one of them is really bad. One of them's kind of bad, one of them's okay. I need to start with the worst one here. Eesh. Don't let it be prime, please don't let it be prime. Ah, 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 okay. Uh, well, it's primal. Yeah, this box is absolutely flattened, dude. You know what? If I need to send this back to Yolo Park, I'm sending them this video too. Okay, looks like it opens up from the side. Let me just try to reshape it. Okay. Like this, okay. It's fine, it's fine. Let me see if I can take off the plastic lid without having the pieces just pop off. Speaking of which, <laughs> okay. Oh, it's got some, it's got some plastic ties. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, there we go. Wow. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay, let me uh, try to be a little bit careful, but I wanna, I wanna show you guys here. Um, I've seen videos of how it looks packaged. It's very, I mean, almost like a, like an action figure, like a build a figure, you know, I don't know if I can really call this an actual model kit. Um, it's definitely not packaged like a model kit. It's not in sprues. You don't have to cut them off of anything. It's just a matter of putting it together, which you know what? Let's put it together. Shall we? Yeah, let's do that. I mean, it's literally one sheet. I mean, double-sided sheet, but still, not a lot going on here. We have a choice between two faces. One of them's already put together. Oh, but you can uh, switch out to his um, face without the uh, face plate. I think this is my first time getting like a really good look at the face. And with the face plate, it looks really nice. Let's see if we can get a good shot of these. And it's not bad at all. I still think overall, um, the Maximals were pretty colorless in the movie, but the design itself though, not too bad, not too bad. Wow, holy moly, dude, okay, I am impressed. I mean, it's got detail, and I'm still trying to check and see if any pieces actually broke because there is quite a bit of detail on this guy. Uh, this one just goes on here, like so, okay. Got it, got it. Apparently there's a butt flap, butt flap. Uh, the arms are a couple of pieces, shoulders, and just the arms themselves, okay. Wow, okay. It's got certain sections on these ball joints. This just goes right up on top. Uh, if it comes out on camera, yep. These two right there, just connect. 
I think it was already connected on the box, but it may have just gotten loose with the crunch. I have to wonder why that's even articulated. I don't think this actually transforms. I don't think. I'm not exactly convinced. Okay, I think that's fine. Yeah, there. Not too bad. Oh yeah, the other um, arm had the uh, the movable piece already connected. I don't know. It seems kind of loose though. No, nope, it's on the pretty good. Okay, that's looking really good so far. Uh, let's get some hands. And it looks like there are three different molded hands. We have, of course, just the open hands and the fists. Very nicely detailed. Right. I am impressed. And, uh, oh, this is like a, I don't know if Primal ever did this, but it has a, um, a pointing hand that's more of an OG prime look I think yeah I know I know it's prime but I'm not too sure if it's actually primal that does that too I'm just gonna go with the open hands though we are halfway done very nice <laughs> I do like that okay so there's some other pieces that go onto the legs I mean a lot of this is very much self-explanatory just gotta like look at where the connections are I know famous last words here and this will just go Just like that, huh? Almost seems too easy. I don't know. It does help to uh, fold the leg at a 90 degree to put the, uh, the shin, the shin section. Have a little bit more working room. There we go. Yeah, that's got some really good detail. Okay, now that he's in one piece, he doesn't feel like the most stable thing. Um, he kind of wants to move around a bit, but it's not hard to get them into a standing pose. Yeah, that's really good. I do like this thing. Again, the first time I get like a really, really good look at uh, Movie Primal, and I thought it was a good design to begin with, but this just really confirms it. Not bad at all. Now, obviously I'm thinking if I would go through the trouble of trying to do a repaint on this figure, and I mean, I would be down to, although I don't know if it's something that would be in the cards for me just because of the backlog, you know? I was I would be open to it though. Um, the only real paint that I see is like the silver, the silver highlights around his body. Everything else is just molded in plastic. The dark, there's like a dark plastic, well dark gray and regular gray. I guess it's like a like a gunmetalish gray plastic for the feet. Again, it would look a lot better with paint though. Without a doubt. Oh, these look beautiful too. Nothing overly complicated. Just a good redesign from um, Beast Wars. And they should easily just pop up right on the hands, maybe? No? Oh, you have to combine these two. Okay. Got it. Okay. All right. Not bad. I can dig this. How does he hold it though? Okay. So instead of having like a pointed hand, for modeled into both sides. The other side just has the molded hand to hold the, uh, the weapon. Cool. Got it. Okay. Looks like it holds it pretty well too. Yeah. Hell yeah. You know what? I dig this. I love this. <laughs> hey, I'm a Beast Wars fan now. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> hey, that is really good. Woo. That is the smash box. Let's, uh, take a look at the one that's kind of smashed i'm not worried about it now i'm sure it'll be fine and you know what sucks is that it is a nice looking box too there's some beautiful artwork in the front and some nice images of the actual figure itself in the back of all the pieces that you get different poses sometimes i do like to keep boxes uh this i'm not gonna do so that's fine all right Okay, so the one that's half smashed is Bumblebee. Ah, uh, let's see. Obviously in the Camaro version. We all know I do prefer the Volkswagen Beetle. That's okay. <laughs> Oof. Ooh. Do I even need the instructions? You know what, no. We're doing this without. 
And I still have to be careful because it has those little plastic ties for the lid. And if I just forcefully pop it out, everything's gonna be flying out. I already know this. Ah, there we go, okay. Okay, you know what, I do wanna take a look at the instructions. I know I'm that kind of person. Oh, connect the head to the chest. Got it, got it. Uh, once again, very minimal paint. So it, the yellow isn't as glossy as I, as I would have liked. Oh, I'm just seeing extra articulation too where I didn't expect it. Wow, that's a kind of a soft plastic too. It's funny that like there's sections of the chest that seem to have like articulation for some reason. I don't know if that helps for the actual poses, but the ears on the head, you can actually pop them up. A little bit anyways. That's pretty cool, I do like that. Uh, it does seem to be in more pieces than primal, that's for sure. Okay, so we have an arm. Well, bicep section with an arm section. The yellow piece goes over the forearm. Also a variety of different fists. I think I'll just give them some open hands for right now. We have uh, the whole leg with some pieces to the side. Interesting how um, this new Bumblebee has the wheels on the side of his legs now, right by his feet. I like that. I like that part showing. Uh, okay, all right. Wow, that is not bad. Um, there's some extra pieces though. Hang on, I know some are for the back. Uh, there are, I think there are some extra arm bits that the instructions do not make clear where they go. Oh yeah, they do, yeah, they do. Kinda doesn't look right though, is that how that goes? Uh, yeah, I guess that's how that goes. I'm not sure I like that. I think that's right. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to massage this around a little bit because some of it doesn't look all that great. Okay, take a look. I mean, overall, this looks really freaking good. Excellent detail all around, my God. Again, it could use more paint. Uh, the only real paint I see is apart from the silver are the uh, black stripes on the, on the yellow parts. Um, some orange, I think, for, for some lights. Some sections that look a little bit weird though, like how you place the, the wheels on the back. Um, they're on a bit of an angle. I don't know if you have to kind of twist them around a bit more, but I don't know if that looks right. I'm not too sure. But I'll have to figure it out. It may be right, I don't know. But that's not a bad Bumblebee. I mean, for being a Camaro, you know, it's not bad at all. Now, unfortunately, he actually doesn't come with his weapon, which now that I remember, I think Yolo Park did um, put out a statement for that, that they're gonna include the weapons for these guys and some other characters. I guess they didn't realize that we would like to have that stuff, you know? <laughs> Still a fantastic looking figure though. Okay, one more. Okay, and of course, that's gonna be Optimus Prime. Now these aren't exactly to scale though. Uh, we do see Bumblebee is listed at 16 centimeters, Primal at 20, and Optimus Prime at 20 as well. I mean, they kind of have to do that, otherwise they'll be towering over each other, which is fine. Let's check it out. Ooh. There we go. Very nice. Not too bad. I think it has just about as many pieces as Bumblebee, if not more. Oh. Ah, okay. Ah, oh, we got it. I need a drink. Wow. Does it feel heavier? No, it's just me. Just me. You can pop the front of the chest off though. Sadly, there's no matrix of leadership to speak of. That's okay. Jeez, even the smokestacks are a separate piece. Okay. And once again, I think I'm gonna give him just the open hands. You know what? No, let me give him his fists. Wait, he has a gun holding hand and no gun. And Yolo Park was surprised that Oh my God, oh, okay. Again, not a lot of uh, paint other than some of the silver highlights. We have the Autobot symbol. Some of the dark gray plastic pieces have um, red sections painted in, but because they didn't put white underneath, the red ends up looking a little bit darker than the red plastic pieces. Hmm, not great, not great. And I think I will give him this pointing finger for the other side, oh, he's using Two fingers to point, okay. Wait a second, that's that's the wrong fist, hang on. Why is it on the other side? That's okay, that's okay, that's okay. 
Oh, shit. So it looks like part of his head just came flying off. And I don't know where it is, so uno segundo. Ugh. One hour later. I found it. And so then looks like we connect the abdomen to the chest. And that's looking pretty good. Okay, the legs. Once again, just pieces added to the leg. Front section. And the back section. And the knee section. And then just the foot. The articulation makes it a little bit tricky to make that connection. Got to hold it a little bit steady. Wow, even toe articulation, that's, that's pretty impressive. A bending mechanism attached to the armpit. They're talking about a butterfly articulation, which is cool. I'm glad it has that. Not too bad. I, uh, I do like it. Still has that, I don't know, that, that a bit of a bit of an odd blocky proportion wise look to him compared to Bumblebee movie Optimus Prime, but it looks good. I really do like it. Kind of really makes me want to build the uh, the much larger Yolo Park Optimus Prime. Like that one is based on the uh, Bumblebee movie. Some some differences in the colors. They um, didn't make the fists or the hands blue like they did in the Bumblebee movie. Um, obviously, he's got the silver sections on the chest. Um, some other changes. None of which I particularly do care for. <laughs> but overall, it looks good. Very nice. No, uh, no weapon still, and yet he does come with a weapon holding fist. That's kind of insulting. That's kind of insulting. Mm. Okay, so I still don't know if I can really consider these model kits. Just by the nature of how they're packaged in the box, they're really more like buildable action figures, which is it's perfectly fine. They do look great, plenty of detail, some good articulation. I would just say just a little bit lacking in the paint department though. But you know, it's nothing we can't fix. But overall, very good figures. And I don't remember them being all that pricey too. I do think I'm gonna be picking up more figures in future waves too. We've already seen pictures of Rhinox, Cheetor, and Scourge, which again, they're looking really good. Now I don't know if I would commit to doing a full repaint on any of these, but you never know. I think right now I would be more inclined to do the trumpeter kits only cause those are actual model kits. And customizing Bumblebee's base has been pretty fun too. Which once again, that will be the next video out on this channel. No firm date yet, but it's going to be soon. But hey, with that, thank you all so much for watching and sticking around with me. I do appreciate it. You can feel free to catch me on all the social medias. Links are down below. I'm even up on threads now. I don't know. It seems okay. It's not a flaming garbage can just yet. <laughs> but if you really want to chat, I'm always on the Discord as well. And of course, you can catch me on Twitch too, which I just started playing through Yakuza Kiwami. And it's a right kick in the face in a good way. But until I see you all again, take care, everyone.